No, really? <laughs> Roll it! Doors, Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. Uh huh. I want to bring in Stephanie Grissom, who we all just saw and heard on stage. Basement dwellers. <laughs> Former aide in the uh, Obama in the, in the Trump White House. Yeah. I wrote down what you said, Stephanie, and I want to read it back to you because I've tried to get my phone fast enough to record it because this is some truth telling. You said behind the scenes, Donald Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. <laughs> Just think, can you imagine the conversations at the dinner table with this dingbat? <laughs> Continue. If he were to lose again, what would that mean for the country in your opinion? You mean if Trump, President Trump was to lose for the first time, he's never lost a presidential election? No! Turnout. 81 million people have never turned out for a presidential election. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's another lie. You know, like, I mean, were you up at the at, on election day? Did you? Were you up when they stopped counting, which has never happened? They did not. <laughs> this lady is bent. Before, until they calculated how many fake votes that were trucked in in the middle of the night. No! <laughs> oh, shit, lady! We're pounding plywood over the counter windows that are mandated that you have observers, and they pounded plywood so the counter. No, Lord! <laughs> God damn it, you upset Jeter. He's, he's out there barking. He barks at all these freaks. Continue. Couldn't be observed, but Trump still got the most votes of all time. That vegetable that was installed in the White House to be Barack Obama's surgery. Oh, somebody, somebody married this lady. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you just ate the most acid I've ever seen anybody eat in my life. <laughs> Semper Fi? <laughs> Check out Overbite Guy. <laughs> Continue. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, I did vote for Trump. I've, I've never really voted before. Um, to me, it was like always watching WWF wrestling. They pump up this guy, and then he's supposed to win. They pump up that. <laughs> he literally had Hulk Hogan introduce him at the convention. <laughs> Continue, Gomer Pyle. Uh, that guy's supposed to win. It's like theatrics and play every single uh -huh. time. I don't care which side it is. They all just go. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back. Ching. WWF wrestling. They pump uh -huh. up this guy, and then he's supposed to win. They pump up that guy, and that guy's supposed to win. It's like theatrics and play every single time. I don't care which side it is. They all just go. <laughs> <laughs> Overbite, you're the champion. Do whatever it is that they're going to do. So you voted in the last election. Do you accept the results of the last election? Uh oh. Big question there, Mr. Overbite. <laughs> Bugs Bunny. You know, unfortunately, I'm probably one of those election deniers. <laughs> <laughs> You're also a denier of braces. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Bro, bro, if you served, I thank you for your service. Now, you should have taken advantage of their dental. <laughs> but I also wear red, white, and blue, which, according to some people, makes me a... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> as far as the election goes, yeah, I don't think that the election was done fair and square. I've been... Why? 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 Because that asshole told you that? This is terrible. What that guy has done to the minds of this these feeble mouth breathing breathing idiots is mind boggling. I'm watching a lot of information from a lot of people, factual information. Dr. Frank's a great source of information. He's <laughs> 
He started in the beginning pure on accident, kind of like I started my journey on accident. <laughs> <laughs> he started his journey pure on accident. <laughs> I didn't come out here and try to find all the stuff that I found out. It's just kind of happened as I've gone along. <laughs> oh, oh, no. And I mean, what, what, do, what do I think? What do I know? I mean, gosh, if I talk long enough, just about anybody could think I'm absolutely crazy. Heard. <laughs> At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Oh! Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Santa Claus took up smoking. <laughs> Continue. Was stolen. Okay. It, oh, man. Hold it. Uh, okay. Hold it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so me, actually. I will. <laughs> well, I will. <laughs> Chris Kringle laying it down. He done taking the mic and he's going to talk some shit. <laughs> Continue. Uh, okay. After Rody, after watching the numbers. Uh-huh. And I woke up at 5 o'clock on November the 4th. Okay. <laughs> okay. When I woke up and I saw those numbers. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Bro, bro, there's this thing called Crest. <laughs> Don't be afraid to use it there, champ. I bet your breath stinks. <laughs> Changed the way they did in my state of Pennsylvania and across this nation to the point where they had excuses, where they had no reason, no reason in my mind, okay? <laughs> Fingers handlebars. <laughs> A non blinker alert. <laughs> Continue. It's coming out, you know. And where's the truth going to come from? It's going to come from the people, the great awakening. It's going to be a rude awakening for you. <laughs> you may never wake up, by the way. <laughs> and who's behind the Great Awakening? Is that is this a, is QAnon part of that? Is Trump himself part of that? Is it? Can you answer some of that? Yeah, it's a military operation. Uh oh. Absolutely, it's devolution. Uh oh. <laughs> they say you want a devolution. Well, you know, we all gotta take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the uh, continuation uh, the continuity uh, continuation of government. Oh no! <laughs> we know who the commander in chief is. Who? Who is that? Who's the commander in chief? Donald Trump's the commander in chief. Oh! <laughs> Who's uh, the president, the installed president in the White House? We also have a commander in chief. But oh no, listen to this. <laughs> Biden runs the DC, the 10 square mile area of DC. Oh, <laughs> oh, a QAnon. Trump's running the rest of the show. But he's not, like, he's but not he even. Is. But he is. He he's is. not even privy to that intelligence. Oh, yes, he is. How, how is he privy to it? <laughs> It's not shared all of it. It's a military operation. Oh, shit. <laughs> this lady done lost it. The Trump is behind a military op uh, operation that's going to make this correction. Yes, he is. Oh, this lady snapped. <laughs> Completely. And where is, where did, how do we know this? Uh, let's see. You can start doing research. Um... This lady's never done a, a singles a single sentence of research. <laughs> Do your own research. And our military is working with other, other... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> She's gone. Government militaries, other country militaries to take down this regime, this cabal. This is her idea of research. <laughs> this is a complete word salad. Listen to this. <laughs> Trump 2024 hat on. But... What difference does it make if he wins in 2024 if you think he's the commander in chief today? What difference does it make if Trump wins in 2024 if he's the commander in chief? Oh man, 
Her brain right now is in overdrive. <laughs> Because we need the Great Awakening, we need the world to see, because we've been complacent and we have not been involved in politics. This is to return back yesteryear when we were involved, we got involved in grassroots, and we keep the corruption out, and we hold people... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ...accountable. That's why we need a man. He's... Oh, God. <laughs> Who told these people that stupid shit? Having <laughs> a standard, and he wants us all to run the show. <laughs> you see, look at look at that look, man. Holy shit! <laughs> Woo! What do you say to people who say that this is a cult? Uh, I think uh, the deep state's a cult. <laughs> Can you define what the deep state oh, is? Oh, yeah. she got offended and she ran away. Oh, my God. That that was awful. By the way, look at this car. What the hell have they done? <laughs> you know, they say your car drops value as soon as it drives off the lot. What the hell? What the hell did they do to this car? What's this car worth? <laughs> oh, that lady got so insulted by the truth. The truth just slapped her in the forehead. <laughs> She's creating a hostile environment in my pants. <laughs> and now she has attitude. I like it. I like my women nice and feisty. <laughs> no, actually, my wife is chill. But anyway, <laughs> continue. The scariest thing is it's the mainstream media. It's the news events. It's the newspapers. It, uh -huh. it's, the, it's the false... The lies that are being told. I understand it has to happen because it's the Great Awakening, and people have. Oh snap! <laughs> to see the ridiculousness of the lies that the left tells. What do, what do you? Can you explain what the Great Awakening means to you? The Great Awakening. It's not simply changing the administration four years here, four years there. It's changing America and the world for a thousand years. Oh shit, honey, I'm horny. <laughs> This thing globally is being taken down. It's a devolution and a reconstruction. <laughs> you say you want a devolution. Well, you know. <laughs> when you say this thing, I'm sorry. I just need specific. Oh, the one world government. Oh, shit. 